get it in for the family real quick. Just like that. Wise Wednesday. It go down, it go down, it go down. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Y'all come on in, man. Y'all come on in, let's make it happen, you feel me? Watch this. And the more emotional energy you bring into your words, the greater impact in your being. Love, lift, life. We touch into your mind, body, and soul. You don't listen, dear. You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. What up, what up, what up, my people? And while it's here for another one, talking to God. Look in the mirror. Who do you see? Well, hopefully you don't see a human. Hopefully you're not seeing a fearful person. Look at yourself closely. Stare in the mirror. There you go. God. Chaos beat. By talking to God, you're talking to you. Scientists say talking to yourself improves your brain functions and your imagination. They found that you can enhance your visual system to detect an item by hearing the name of the item. Thus, when you talk out loud, you're essentially cueing your system to get ready to perform better. When you're talking to yourself, you're talking to the God or goddess within you. Talking to yourself is how you receive your spiritual answers. Pick your human up and know how to move in this matrix. <laughs> words are powerful and words are spells. When you speak with vigor and assurance to yourself, you're moving with your heart. Think about it. Where are you speaking from? You're not consciously talking to yourself saying, I suck. I hate myself. I am such a loser. That's for the people that are dead and not knowing that they are the creators of their reality. You speak things into existence and the more emotional energy you bring into your words, the greater impact in your being. <laughs> Scream, speak with confidence. Speak to yourself with the air of knowing. Speaking to yourself is not the only God attribute you have. Some of y'all are wasting your energy and time talking, arguing with people that don't serve you. People that's not helping you grow. It's cool to have them friends that you talk to about human stuff. But when talking to haters or energy vampires, you might as well be talking to a brick wall. <laughs> or you can turn your signs up and talk to your other friends, your spiritual friends. The friends that got your back. But that's another video. You're talking to God is just talking to you. You are your own therapist. Look at Esther Hicks. She created a whole new entity and she talks as if Abraham, her other self, is doing great, marvelous things. You can create this alter ego. The Superman, X-Men, if you're trying to distinguish the difference between your human and your spiritual self. But remember, your spiritual self is you 
And just knowing that that's you 100% of the time is the right of a chaos being. Message. You killed off that old you and became something new. Talk to yourself. Let yourself hear your words out loud. Don't just do it in your head. Speak that shit out loud and clear. Dream, you are a handsome, magical being. Everything you do always works out. Boy, you funny, God. No, you ain't taking that shot again to get into your meditation again. I know this might sound crazy, but um, you want to go singing later? You know, since your throat chakra is popping, your voice is powerful and beautiful, Dream. Vibrating from the throat chakra, you're using your mouth and your ears to express yourself with ease and speak things into existence. Talk to you. Say that stuff out loud. It's okay. Talk your talk. Walk your walk. And be confident in your truth. Dream wise. My whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed, but I do. Starting to notice. Yeah, family, we getting it in today, Wise Wednesday. Y'all know what time it is. What's up, my people? What it is, my people? What it do? What it is, my people, what it do? Stagnant energy. <clears throat> Stagnant energy, man. I almost didn't do this today, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, because, shoot, the energy was not there. But then I said, you know what? Let me do it on this stagnant energy. You feel me? I said, man, you know what? Let me let me go tap in. Let me tell the family about the stagnant energy. Now, look, I get it. I talked about repetition and being consistent and all of that last week. You know, that's an important feat. That's an important uh, behavior that you're supposed to have. But that's exactly what it's supposed to be is a behavior. It's a habit, right? And we're going to get into a little bit more of that. In a minute, let me shout out the family, man. Let me find this damn video and shout out the family. Don't mind the thumbnail. Don't mind the thumbnail. We chaos. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to change that while I'm talking. That's what I'm saying, dog. We chaos. So you know how chaos beings do. We get up and press go. Niggas don't got time to be setting this thing up. We set it up on the fly. That's how this thing flies out. That's the real pure chaos energy. What's up, Mo? What's the deal, man? Leo, what's good? Xavier, what's the deal? Kevin, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Damn. Kamante, ancient chaos, universal ray. Hey, that's what it is, man. Everything is everything. Yeah, it is because everything is going to be all right. Mad Titan, what's up, baby? Stray, what's the deal? I'm loving life. Flex. Man, we all in here. Michelle, man, it's going down. It is going down. D Mercy, Phil, what's up? Now, look. So we had to dive into this topic, right? The stagnant energy. And this is a very important topic, family, because at the end of the day, we have to understand um, we can't box things in. Right, we're trying to think outside the box. Right, the hexahedron, we're trying to get out of that prison, that shell. Right, that square, that box. You feel me? And that's a very key thing in these now times, especially with all this chaos going on. Shit, we the chaos beings, so we supposed to be thriving in this time. This is supposed to be your time. This is supposed to be your time to shine. What's the corona? Sunshine, light, the sun, shine. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> hey, I'm, hey, 
I'm going to just tell y'all what the symbology is saying. But at the end of the day, you got to run a lap around this thing for real because this is your world. You feel me? So, stagnant energy, right? Stagnant energy. I'm going to read this definition of what stagnant energy is. Stagnant energy. Stagnant energy is what you are working on when you're doing rituals. Stagnant energy accumulates through repetitive, restrictive thought patterns like fear, envy, jealousy, etc. Areas where unadvised spiritualistic rituals have been conducted can also accumulate large amounts of negative stagnant energy quickly. Okay. So now look, we're in this human form, right? We're in this matrix. And you know, we got to abide by certain rules and regulations. But honestly, and and we got our class coming up this weekend, so if y'all ain't jumped in the class, jump in now. It's not too late. But honestly, you as a soul being, you are a soul, right? You are a soul being. And when they say the monster is soul, they're just talking about you having the ability to do whatever you want. Whatever your heart desire. Go see my Lilo and Stitch breakdown. Okay, it's going to be monstrous to this world but it's not actually monstrous in the aspect or in the grander idea of, uh, you know, good or bad or right or wrong, right? Shout out to Panic. So when we're coming down here, there's certain rules and regulations we have to abide by because, you know, they place us in this box, in this shell, in this mind control because people want to control other people. That's just the way of the world. That's just the way of this world, right? But our innate energy, our innate being is to think outside the box, to run free, to be creative and expressive and do things that's not, you know, um, conformed. And that's what we're talking about today, this stagnant energy, which is also negative energy. Now, if y'all seen our Sunday service, uh, this past Sunday service with Dr. B, she, she hinted on the idea of this thing. Because I want to talk about a very important topic with, in accordance to your spiritual work. Now, when you're doing your spiritual work, you know, for instance, like me, right? I get up every day, three, four in the morning and go in, right? The witching hours. You don't want to do the same routine meditation. You don't want to give the same amount of ancestor money, right? To your ancestors. You don't want to say the same affirmation. Because after a while, you are just becoming a robot. And that's what we're not trying to do. We're not robotic. We are a, a soul having a, a human experience. Okay? And the, the uh, idea of chaos being is just potential energy. Right? And potential energy can reign supreme, can run free, can move how it wants to move. What's up, babe? You in here? Yes, sir. Been in here the whole time, letting you do your thing. Peace to everybody in the chat room. Peace, family. Um, you know what I, can you hear me good? Let me yeah, say that. All right, cool. So what I will say just to add to what you're saying and let you keep going is that stagnant energy is a sign of a lack of creativity. Okay. Like you said at the beginning, 
thinking outside the box, really finding different ways to move your physical, spiritual, emotional energy, right? And so that takes creativity. And then it also can be a sign of a disconnect from your intuition and that divine guidance and that flow state energy. Um, but we are definitely going to talk about some different ways from our experiences personally of how we can get that energy back moving and how we can kind of be, you know, eclectic in our spiritual journey. Because like you said, if we keep on doing the same thing over and over and over again, then the power in that thing is no longer there. Um, and you just got to mix it up. You got to do different things. You got to be coming from the heart. Yes, family. And I, you know, what I was mainly getting at um, with the family is that I want y'all to understand about the aspect of your work. Fuck, well, do work, your work, your work, your work. So with these rituals, uh, with the, your meditation, your rituals, giving to your ancestors and all of that, right? You don't want to have the same conformed pattern, the same mundane uh, work that you know that you that you've always been doing. You want to mix it up. You want to shake things up. Now, remember again, I just told y'all last week we talked talked about repetition. Well, repetition in the idea of creating a new habit. Okay, so if I'm saying. If I'm saying, uh, you know, meat is not a part of my life no more, then that's a repetition behavior that I'm trying to get rid of, right? That's something that I'm trying to move around from. But the, the bigger idea is, you know, you're starting to eat different foods other than meat or whatever, right? For instance... I get up at three in the morning, right? And do and go in, do my work. But I'm not constantly doing the same work. Okay, so the idea is to have the same habits, to build up a habit to where you're actually doing, um, actually have this kind of energy to where, you know, you're going to go up, get up and do the work. And then, you know, you change it up every time you go into your work, if that makes any sense. You feel me? So not doing the same work, but having the same kind of built-in habit. So that is huge for the family, family, because this stagnant energy will have you tricked, will have you mind control in thinking you're gaining some traction. Okay. Eventually, you know, you're doing your work, you're doing the same thing, right? You know, things will start to change, right? But then eventually your subconscious mind picks up on the trick and now your subconscious mind is just becoming your ego. So now you're appeasing your ego with the work. Let me, if I was doing my root chakra, if I was working on my root chakra, Every day, all day, right? Just keep on working on my root chakra. Keep on working on my root chakra. Eventually, my subconscious mind is going to say, all right, we get the idea. So now we the root chakra man. <laughs> and then that's the kind of mundane robotic work that we're going to be doing. Okay, we don't want to do that. We don't want to keep this kind of behavior. We want to change yeah, you, it up. You feel like you know everything about the root chakra. You're trying to teach people about the root chakra shit. <laughs> uh, what, how? When? What did I say about the root chakra? I'm joking, babe. I'm building off of the example that you was giving with a person that constantly works on the root chakra, for example. Oh, okay. Yeah, shoot. Sure. Okay, you missed it. All right, no problem. Yeah, it went over my head. I Wendy Williams. <laughs> No, I did went over my head though. I shit, I still don't get it. But at the end of the day, what we want to get the idea is change things up, family. Change things up. Change things up. So um 
So uh, this is exactly why jobs don't work, family. Like them nine to five jobs and shit like that. Eventually you're gonna get tired. Look, my queen, my my D Ray, this one right here, the one that just jumped on the the uh call right now and just was like saying something about the root chakra, trying to be funny and shit. She is pure chaos. I can't make this thing up. She will be in the middle of working out and then she'll start painting. No lie, nigga. She'll start reading the book and then she'll go outside and run a few laps. I ain't never seen nothing like her. Pure chaos. <laughs> she'll be in the middle of a nap and then she'll go and do a live video. I'll be like, damn, babe, you really are chaos for real. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I have to do it because I can feel. Wait, kid, wait, just wait. I have to do it like that family. Maybe a lot of other people are like that because I can feel the um, that stagnation. I can feel the boredom, for lack of better words. I kind of become like once I've done something for a couple of days and things like that, I start to kind of just be like, oh, OK, let me do something different. But it's not out of a lack of focus. It's out of an internal feeling and internal knowing within myself right yeah exactly and and it's also a means of creativity right so if you're not having these ideas of different ways that you can still accomplish you know certain goals then you probably need to you know figure something out with that for example i um i knew that i needed to physically move my body so a couple of uh about 2 weeks ago what i would do is just Every Tuesday and Thursday, I would go and jog a lap around our neighborhood every morning. And that was great. That feels good, right? But um, but then I just didn't want to do it anymore. And actually, I think I kind of didn't want to do it because I saw some dogs that was not on no leash one of the mornings. And so I was like, nah, I'm done with that. So now, to me, for me to get my physical body moving, because you got to understand the physical, the spiritual, the mental, the emotional, all of these bodies that we encompass, the energy can be stagnant in each of those things, right? And so for me, I knew and understood that I needed to be moving my physical body. So the running wasn't working, or it was working for a moment in time, but I was like, okay, let's do something different. So I started practicing Taekwondo or something in here. I don't know. I just get on YouTube, type in little at home, you know, karate exercises. And I've been doing that for the last two weeks and it feels good. But you have to know what you are needing within your body, right? And within your spirit, because you got to switch it up, you know, even your meditations. Some of us are going into meditations doing the same meditation over and over and over again, or just sitting down, you know, just sitting and closing your eyes, but not really having any intention or any visualization. And the, the energy does become stagnant. So we can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. We got to get creative in reaching these goals. Exactly. Facts on facts on facts. Yeah. The other day, um, and I don't even eat sweets or nothing like that. But the other day, D-Ray was going to the store. I said, babe, buy a whole bunch of sweets, buy a whole bunch of sugary products. I just told her, buy, a whole, buy it. I need it. And she was like, what? Okay. You know what I mean? So that was something that had to be done. Why? Because my ancestors were craving it because I was being like real, uh, you know, health conscious or whatever that that funny stuff trying to be funny and stuff and uh you know it, it was just time for a change you feel me like i'm a, a you know i'm a um i would say i'm a pretty healthy person right right babe what did you say yeah i guess so yeah yeah you know. You know that you I know. try to cook pretty good for us, not too, you know, not too much chaos, not too many carbs, dairy, all of that stuff like that. Mostly vegetables. 
So when there's a moment that that happens, you know, it's the ancestors craving this kind of food, craving this kind of energy, right? Craving that, that needs that. Same thing with uh, jobs. That's why we have to get out of these nine to fives, family. I can't stress this enough. Mm. Jobs are not for you. The jobs are trying to keep you in a robotic mindset. Now, now there's some jobs, you know, where you always doing something different. That's cool. That's, 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 that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? You're being free. You're being, uh, being able to challenge yourself. Let's say that, right? Because that's what we're going to get into challenging Mm -hmm. yourself, getting, tapping into this fear state, walking into the fear. We're going to get into that in a minute. Let me, let me, and the word that we're actually talking about right now, family, is called a plateau. If you keep on doing the same things over and over and over again, then you're really not growing anymore. And that goes hand in hand with what Dream just said about challenging. That goes hand in hand with what you just said, love, about challenging yourselves. I literally challenged myself, family, to decide I was going to run a lap around our neighborhood. I ain't ran in so long, but I did that for two weeks straight, giving myself a whole new challenge, and it gave me a whole new vibration, a whole new insight, and it really opened up the rabbit hole of so many other things that I've started to do, uh, you know, that I was not used to doing at first, and so... A lot of times when we are doing the same things over and over and over again, we hit that plateau. That's why if anybody knows anything about exercising, working out, fitness training and things of that nature, you can keep up with the same exercise regimen for a couple of weeks, but then you're going to stop seeing gains and you're going to be wondering why you still can only lift the same thing you've been able to lift two weeks ago, why you're not improving. Well, that's because your muscles and your body has become physically used to those specific exercises. And so you have to switch it up totally different to trick your body into saying, oh, we're still learning. We're still growing. We're still evolving. So it's the same thing while on the spiritual path, right? It's the same thing. So if you're feeling stagnant, you know, you're in that plateau space which is not a bad space to be in, but it's, but you get to recognize and realize, okay, I need to do something different. Okay. I've learned something. Now it's time for me to give myself a whole nother challenge and let me figure that out. Mm. And so a lot of times we'll know when it's time to move on, you know? And one last thing I want to say that it, that just popped into my mind is that it's the same thing as like smoking weed. The first couple of times you smoke weed is great. Maybe the first month, maybe the first year you smoke weed is great. And you're like, oh, this feels good. I'm creative. This is fun. This is dope. This is funny. This is laughter and all of that stuff like that. But five years into it and you're like, damn, man, this shit, it, it's not giving me the same pleasure, the same benefits, the same power that it was giving me when I first started using it. So you've hit that plateau. And like Dr. B has said, anytime you use anything too much, it could even be, you know, I I don't want to say that you can never meditate too much, but the same type of meditation, right? Or let's say not using visualization in your meditation, overusing spiritual baths for your spiritual cleansing instead of mentally cleansing yourself, emotionally cleansing and purging yourself or fasting to rid yourself of low vibrational energies, right? Anything that you use too much, it actually starts to impede on your growth Mm -hmm. because now who's using who, right? Is that thing using you or are you using that thing for your benefit and for your growth? Yeah, that's beautiful, babe. That's perfect, perfect. Doing it over and over and over again, killing off your creativity. That's what we're not trying to do. We're trying to tap into our creative sphere. Y'all go see my creative sphere video. You feel me? You want to challenge yourself and do something different at times. Okay? Because that's that's the work. That's the process. That's That's walking into this fear. You know what I mean? And and this can be fearful for some people, right? 
a lot of people are comfortable with that fifty dollars a day. You know what I'm saying? Somebody offer you five hundred dollars a day. No, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. That's not me. Not wait. I don't know. I got to do something different to get that five hundred dollars a day. You feel me? But no, you want to step into that fear so you can become something new, always changing, forever growing. Right? So let me read y'all this, man. Because I have put post this in my little uh in my other family. Look, if y'all want to join our group, email me. I got some stuff for the family where it was going down. You know what I'm saying? Stepping into Stepping into your fear so you can make this cash flow. You feel me? So uh, this is called the terror barrier. The terror barrier. Y'all check this out. Look. The terror barrier is the feeling of fear and anxiety you experience when you're about to push past your comfort zone in a major way. Most men experience it right before they approach an attractive woman. The terror barrier is also ex experienced in other areas of life. About to quit your job and become an entrepreneur, the terror barrier will come up. I got to tell you all about my shit when, when that shit happened to me because I was terrified and motherfucker. Perhaps you felt the terror barrier right before making a massive financial investment and your personal development. Ooh, taking panic class. Go sign up for our class. <laughs> Lovelifelife.com. Essentially, the terror barrier works as an internal indicator of how much tension you are facing in the moment. When it's in full effect, you are facing an extremely high amount of tension for your own current capacity level. For many people, this is too much tension to handle and it shuts them down completely. They actually slide backwards and allow their fears to prevent them from making any progress in their lives. What the hell is that, dog? Come on, man. I can't make that shit up, family. What in the world is that? That gotta be the weak. That Now look. That's real shit. That happens every day in, in some of our lives. For real. I cannot express express is, is the, the goal, the audacity for you not to become the greatest version of yourself in this reality. You are a God. You are a chaos being. You got all the potential within you. So stop playing it safe, right? And you got all the support that you need on a spiritual level because, I mean, you did not incarnate here without any support on how to navigate this life, right? And so when that fear, when that terror presents itself, it's going to sound just like you because it's your ego because your ego is like, uh, are you sure you want to start a workout plan? Are you sure you want to go on a fast? Are you sure you want to reach out to Dream and D-Ray? Are you sure you want this consultation? Like anytime you're about to really have this breakthrough and, and suffer an ego death, which has to happen, family. Every time you go to a, to a higher level of consciousness, an aspect of yourself has to die. And it's not you on a soul level that's afraid of that because you're on that level, you understand that that's what must happen in order for you to evolve to your greater levels of consciousness. But your ego is like, look, we still alive now. We still, we still here. We breathing. We good. You know, we ate today. We, we good. We good. You don't, you don't, you don't got to make that investment. You don't got to take no risk. You don't got to not eat for three days. You good. Right, right. And right. that's how subtle this fear actually presents itself. It's not like a, a, a like a panic or anxiety attack, even though some people might have that, but it's not like your heart is beating fast and you're like, oh, should I do this or should I not? It's a very subtle conversation that you're having with yourself 
to where you are being asked, am I going to transform, transition, and move from this state of being, or am I going to stay the same? Mm-hmm. And clearly staying the same is way more comfortable. Man, come on, dog. That's that's beautiful, dog. Let me, re- I'm gonna read this part again, family, because I need y'all to really understand this thing. Essentially, the terror barrier works as an in- internal indicator of how much tension you are facing in the moment. When it's in full effect, you are facing an extremely high amount of tension for your own current capacity level for the moment the for the self-identity that you're claiming at the, that moment that's what they're saying they're saying you are here right now you're comfortable here right now the capacity level that you're at right now is what it is you're you don't want to uh tap past that bar right you don't want to push past that bar you don't want to break through that bar right right for many people this is too much tension to handle and it shuts them down completely they actually slide backwards and allow their fears to prevent them from making any progress in their lives look i can't make this up family if i didn't step outside my comfort comfort zone and get on this youtube thing i wouldn't be talking to y'all right now that's so facts y'all it was a uh, this is a a, a, well he's overcome it now but definitely dream was not trying to talk to people (laughs) i still don't want to talk to y'all motherfuckers man god (laughs) but no but for real that's what this thing is because we have to be able to push past these uh quote unquote fears or this this comfort this comfortability Right. right to create a new, to become something new. Ooh, ooh, and hold on, hold on, because this was just hit me too. Another way to think about it, family, is we, a lot of us are still acting as if we are in like elementary school learning our ABCs by memorization, mm. right? And it's rote learning, doing the same thing over and over and over again. Like, how stagnant is it to just be able to say your ABCs? right? That's stagnant energy, rote learning, learning by, you know, just saying the same thing, doing the same thing over and over and over again does not necessarily mean that you know it. Like Brother Panic used to say, can you say your ABCs from Z to A? Everybody can say from A to Z because we've learned through, through that, through that repetition, through that saying it over and over and over and over again. But as we are evolving on this spiritual journey, we are learning through our creativity. We're learning through actual trial and error. We're learning by actually putting our, uh, putting our feet in the grass and putting, and putting our hands to things. That's how we're actually learning and evolving. Not by just hearing other people talk about it over and over again. Just because you hear Dream and I talk about some of these things over and over again is not going to help you to actually get to where you got to go, right? It's the same thing like being in school. Just because you hear your teacher say this thing over and over and over again doesn't mean that you fully understand. It doesn't mean that you know what you're actually doing, right? That's stagnant energy. And so what you got to do is actually try these things, do these things, Mm. right? And actually be your own scientist. Bobby Hammett, that's our opening video is everybody's actually their own scientist and as a scientist once you recognize that you are feeling some level of boredom once you recognize that you're not getting the results that you were once getting or that uh that you are only making say this amount of money consistently or you're only tapping into this level of spirit then that lets you know that there's some adjustments some changes that you need to make to your experiment Mm. Facts. That's what that means. And you gotta and you gotta do that. And you gotta realize that and you gotta get creative. You gotta start thinking outside the box. Yeah. That's the whole point. Breaking past this this uh this 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 self-identity you created that's not real. You are cosmic 
God, you are forever. You you are ever changing. You are there is no these uh what what you call them um personality traits or whatever, right? That people then placed on you from mind control and shit like that. That is not you, right? You know, your mama called you shy when you was younger and shit. That's not you. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. You you are a god. You're a chaos being. You have the potential to be whoever you want. You want to be a millionaire? Bing. Right. Right? You want to be a business owner? Bing. Okay? But you're not going to get nowhere by saying, well, I'll just wait till next year when, it, you know, I get my income tax and, you know, the stimulus check, they're going to give me that. So I'll add that <laughs> to it. And then I can, you know, try to combine that with my child support check. And then I'll just, you know, I'll create a business. No, nigga, you got to step inside this chaos sphere right now and do what you're supposed to do. If you don't walk into this sphere, you is going to be stuck forever. And hey, you know, you know, the, hey, I, hey, I'm not one to judge. Some people want to be the same person forever and ever and ever. That's fine. You right. feel me? Nothing wrong with that. Do you. But I'm talking to the people that want to transform, right? I'm talking to the people that actually want to get into this, uh, this spiritual work, the spiritual light. If you don't try to do certain things, then how the fuck are you going to talk to your grandma? And so let's let's talk about real quick some different things that you could actually do. So on a very simple level, some things that you can do to shake up your energy and to kind of transform what's going on is try adjusting your sleep times, right? So like like Dream said, Dream wakes up at three o'clock in the morning. Me, I don't wake up at three o'clock in the morning, but right now not because my energy has been stagnant, but just because I'm being a scientist. So now what I'm going to try to do, even though I, I, I don't like setting alarms and things like that, but I'm going to set an alarm to see what happens over the next week. But I'm going to set my alarm to try to wake up at say six o'clock in the morning. I usually wake up around eight. That's just when my body wakes up, but I'm going to sleep later at night. Like I don't go to sleep till like 12 o'clock at night. And so because I want to adjust that, because I want to see the effects that would have on my energy, my creativity and my productiveness, I want to actually try going to bed a little bit earlier, say 10 o'clock, actually be sleep and waking up at six o'clock in the morning and seeing what I can do with myself and with my energy by starting my day earlier. That's just something so simple. That's one thing that you can do adjust the time that you're going to sleep and adjust the time that you're waking up because ultimately you're going to have either more or less hours in your day and so your energy is going to be like okay what do I do to optimize this extra time that I have or what do I do to optimize this less amount of time that I have how can I still be productive right or how can I be more productive than I was the other day All right so we're going to tell you just a couple of physical things and meditation things that you can do to shake some things up and to create a new routine and I'm gonna tell you you got to do these things at least a week or at least you know you got to do it for some time to build up your evidence I should say like doing it one day doing it two days is not enough you don't have enough evidence there to come up with a conclusion uh, right so you got to do it consistently enough to really know what the effects of that thing are. Yeah, so try switching up your sleep times. That's one thing to do. Facts. That's the repetition. That's that's the the habit. That's the habit. Look, when when we talk about breaking these habits or breaking a habit, your body, right? Your body is used to this consistent habit you're placing on it. No matter if it's good or bad, right or wrong, whatever you, you know, quote unquote, right or wrong is to in the in this construct that we live in, in this matrix, it don't matter. You're smoking weed or eating, uh, eat being a vegan or whatever, right? Whatever y'all want to put on it, it doesn't matter. 
you have to shake things up in order to become something new, in order to transform out of to out of this thing. You feel me? And create something new for yourself. And that requires you walking into your fear. So look, this is what I want y'all to do, family. I ain't gonna even hold y'all up. I want y'all to do something that fears you. Well, we're about to go into May right now, right? Shout out to Khadija, man. We got her on for Mother's Day. It's going down. We're about to go into May. So at the beginning of May, do something that fears you. If you never did a fi- uh, fast, tap into that fast, right? May 1st, tap into a fast. Um, if you, you know, if, if it's been a while since you exercise, go ahead and start running. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all used to be athletes and now y'all don't hoop at all. Get back into that. Do something different. Shake your body up. Change this motherfucking world so you can start getting ideas and thoughts that's going to transmute your being. Okay? Because you have this one life. When I say you have one life, well, yeah, you have this one life to live, but you know, you, you ain't trying to come back to this thing, but while you're here, you might as well make it a goddamn amusement park roller coaster ride, baby. Have fun with this thing. See how far you can go. Right. Really? And I think that's so funny because I just realized this myself. I have been um, taking herbs as I've been on this on this journey, just being a scientist and understanding how these different herbs affect my body and things like that. And I was taking them for like a month straight. And then I just stopped taking them. Like y'all just, the, the energy just became stagnant. I just stopped, right? And I already know within my mind, I already know within my heart that at some point I'm gonna take them again. Uh, and so we hear that a lot when it comes to taking herbs. And this is just further, this is further pushing the point that you cannot consistently do something over and over and over again. I even read like if you're taking like colloidal silver, right? Take colloidal silver for two weeks straight, then don't take it at all for a week, then take it again for two weeks straight, right? Things like that. Y'all let me know in the chat if you've heard of things like that, right? Mm -hmm. If you have, that again is just the proof that it's so, so quickly we can become acclimated to something. So quickly something can become sedentary in us. Like it stops moving, it stops working, it starts producing. So it's so important that we that we switch it up. Um, another thing that I wanna tell the family that you could tap into that will definitely, definitely, definitely shake things up for you is do something that you've always wanted to do, but you never really felt good at it. That's a big one. You're going to end up surprising yourself, right? Mm -hmm. I done started, like Dream said, I've been making art and that's, that's the truth. And I'll tell you throughout my entire childhood, I never felt like I had that artistic hand. I never felt like I had an artistic hand to paint, to draw and things of that nature but I felt pulled to start painting. And I ended up creating something so beautiful that I was able to put it on my wall, on our wall in our house, I should say. And that has shifted my energy to a more creative space. And so like Dream said, I, I guess we both just, I guess we both just given different techniques. But one thing, like I said, shift up your your habits your sleep patterns try to stay up later and wake up earlier whatever works best for you depending on your situation like dream said do something that scares you right if you ain't never did a fast do a fast even if it's just for one to three days do something different another thing that i'm saying do something that you've always wanted to do but never really felt confident in your ability to get it done Maybe that's making a YouTube video, right? Maybe that's starting a Facebook group. Maybe that's 
doing some type of art or cutting your hair, something like that, that is going to shake your energy up. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And um, hey, man, th this is a perfect example of the times we're living in now. This is a very beautiful example right now. They done switched it up on your ass. So they niggas don't even got no job, no no money coming in. They done switched it up on you quick, right? They telling you to wear a mask now and stuff. Look how quick they shifted your shit. They, uh, huh, take this. I was just talking to my brother. He talking about, man, I still ain't getting paid. I was like, God dang. So they, you know what I'm saying? So it's a whole different thing. It's, it's like they shifting the, the energy on you. You need to be able to shift the energy on yourself. I got my video coming out tomorrow, uh, sitting on top of the world too. Sitting on top of the world too. Uh, your own universe or something like that. I called it. I call it something is dope, but it's coming out tomorrow or one of these days for Patreon. If you ain't a Patreon member, come on to the Patreon, patreon.com. Right. Love Lip Life. It's already, the audio is already on there. But uh, yeah, it's going down, it's going down. So you want to be able to shift yourself. Mm. You feel Intermittent me? fasting. Transmuting to the energy yourself. They, they putting this spell on you right now. No, you have control over yourself. Right, you the chaos being God, and you have all the potential within you. Man, what's up, family? Man, you know what it is. Wise Wednesday, go down and go down. Look, email me. I'm the hustle man. I got everything. I'm the uh, wh what I said. I got the hookup. Hey, email me for whatever. You know what time it is, family? I got it. I got it. I got it. If you want some bread, I got it. If you want that die, I got it. Hey, go down. <laughs> Say, man, hey, we changing the guards. It's a it's a new time, a new day. So, hey, let's make this thing happen for real, family. Man, y'all like and share the video, man. Like and share the video. Look, do something different. Share the video. <laughs> share the video. Be like, you know right. what? Let me share this video. Let me Let me try this. Let me see. Maybe dream my butt, but you know what I'm saying? Do something different. Shake it up, family, always. Man, shout out to the family. Shout out to the chaos being. Look, our classes this weekend, man. Y'all go ahead and sign up. If you haven't signed up yet, uh, yet. Uh, man, it's going to be a powerful, powerful class. You don't want to miss it. We're going in depth on this spiritual thing. Right, we going straight eight hour chaos mode. You feel me? So it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful time, family, and you do not want to miss it. All the links are in the description for whatever you need. If you need to invest, if you need to blah blah blah, all this stuff, we got it in the uh description of this video, man. Man, baby, got anything to plug? Uh, yeah, family, get your readings, get your, um, join us on Patreon, like Dream said, get your healing consultations. I did a powerful reading yesterday um, for a sister that was amazing. Join us for that. If that's something that you're needing, if you're needing to figure out in what way you need to be tapping into your own chaos, the point is, family, you got, you have to be putting in the work right you have to be doing something we it's no longer time for talking about it or just listening to it right we're not here to just fuel your ego we're here because we actually want you to do the work take the action do the meditations and then come back and share with us the power that it has had in your life and the effects that it has had in your life, right? So that's what we're here to do. That's what we want to do. Thank you for all the, the people who are new to the DreamWise 
family. I've seen a lot of you come in saying I'm new here. Peace to all of you. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we'll be back on Sunday. All right, all right. Peace out, family.